Good morning, Eagles, and good morning, members of the Auxiliary. It is very hard to imagine that I will not be able to be with you in person this year, really for the first time in seven years. Coming to visit with you each year at annual convention is always a very important part of my year as I have the opportunity to meet with you and to celebrate with you your work and your commitment to the Fraternal Order of Eagles Diabetes Research Center. But before I make any specific comments about the DRC, we all know that the reason why I'm not here in person with you this year is because of the coronavirus pandemic. This has affected all of us. Here at the University of Iowa, we are under a travel restriction because we are healthcare providers and we're not really allowed to travel on university business outside of state, um, not only to keep ourselves safe, but also to keep our patients safe that we take care of every day. And therefore, I hope that you also are keeping yourself safe in your homes and in your communities. As you know, the virus is more deadly in people with diabetes. As you know, the virus causes more disease in people who are older than 55 or 60. And so I think a lot about you because I know that there are many of you who may have diabetes or other conditions that, that increase the risk of complications of COVID. So let me really encourage you to keep yourselves safe and to really follow all of the guidelines to prevent the spread of infection. I will speak more about that a little bit later on. But let me now turn and make a few comments about the work that has been ongoing here in the Fraternal Order of Eagles Diabetes Research Center. Your commitment to us for many years now has really enabled us to continue to build and to grow as we work towards finding a cure for diabetes. I'm pleased to report to you that in the seven years that I've had the privilege of leading the FOE DRC, our faculty in the Diabetes Center have competed for and gained in aggregate more than $224 million worth of grant funding towards um, diabetes. Just last year, we earned about $20 million in new grant funding focusing on understanding and working against both the causes and the complications of diabetes. This would never have been possible were it not for your vision and foresight and initial commitment to set up this diabetes center, which I hope that you will continue to be very proud of. We have continued to bring in new faculty into the, into the Diabetes Research Center. And over the last year, we've brought in at least two or three additional new members to our community to continue to work towards our mission of um, finding a cure for uh, diabetes. I'm also pleased to share with you that because of your ongoing commitment to us through the Bridge to the Cure program, we have identified two outstanding um, projects that we believe um, will bring us that much closer to a cure for diabetes. With your support, we hope to be able to ultimately bring about some new treatments that we believe will in fact change the face of this disease that many of you know about and that we are very committed to finding a cure for. So again, let me close by personally thanking you for your ongoing support, for your commitment, for your enthusiasm, for your passion, for your energy, and for everything that you have done and that you continue to do to ensure the success of the Fraternal Order of Eagles Diabetes Research Center. I wish you all the best as you get together, whether in person or virtually for your annual convention this year. I hope that you'll have a chance to reflect on all of the things that are so important to your goals and are important to your missions. As a country, as the world, we are facing one of the most severe tests of our ability and of our will and of our resilience. But one thing I am sure of 
and I'm sure, sure that you would agree as well, that we are all stronger when we work together towards a cause. Just as you have all worked together to eradicate diabetes, I'm sure that as a country and as a society, we will ultimately prevail over the coronavirus. In the meantime, let me really encourage and urge you to try your best to um, minimize your chance of catching the virus. What are we doing here in Iowa as a healthcare system? We are telling all of our staff and all of our, all our patients, it is important that we try to maintain social distancing, that we try to maintain our hands as clean as possible. And although I know it's controversial, I will also say it is important for us to wear a mask when we are in public. So I end by putting my mask on. Just to really remind all of us that we have to look out for each other during these times. So again, thank you so much. And I look forward to hopefully having the opportunity to meeting with you in person in the future when it's safe to do so. Thank you.